Merry meet everyone and welcome to My Pagan Life once again. Are you a pagan, wiccan, or witch and find it hard to reveal this secret identity to people in your life such as your friends, family, and so on? Do you hide this part of yourself simply because you believe you won't be accepted? Either way, you are not alone and this is a very common problem within the wiccan and pagan community. In fact, it's so common it's even got a name and it's called being in the broom closet. Now the real deal and the real question here is how do I come out of the broom closet? So remember that these are my views, maybe some of them may not apply to you, but these are just my tips. Let us make this as easy as possible by breaking it up into three separate stages. Let's start with stage number one, the planning. The planning stage basically consists of planning and asking yourself a whole lot of questions. Why would I like to come out? What do I wish to achieve by coming out? How and who am I going to come out to? What impression would I like to give them? What and how much shall I talk about me and my path? Think through these questions very carefully and find some answers. I don't know about the US or the rest of the world, but in Norway we have a certain saying. It goes as follows. Uklar tale, uklar tanke, and literally means unclear speech, unclear thought. Just think about it for a little bit. I'll come back to it later. Stage two, the talk. Remember this from the planning stage. How you want to approach people with this subject is up to you. When you're going to introduce the topic, you could introduce the topic to them very slowly by bringing it up in conversation, or you could start a conversation while it seems as if there's nothing else going on. If you fear that the people you're coming out to may be skeptical to your path, don't try to contradict their theories by telling them that your path is not evil. Rather, Focus on what is good about your path. You don't want to seem as if there's anything you'd like to hide from them. Be open and honest. Again, remember unclear speech, unclear thought. When you're going to present this issue, you need to know what you're talking about. You also need to be prepared to answer certain questions. And basically in general, if you don't know what you're talking about, it seems really weird and suspicious. The most important thing about knowing what you want to talk about is that you sound more confident and you sound more secure and sure about your choice. Stage 3, the reaction. There is one thing that makes coming out of the broom closet hard to deal with. As a matter of fact, it's the one thing that makes coming out a problem in the first place. And that is, you can't control people, nor how they will react. That's why when you've spilled the beans, there is not much you can do with a situation that will occur, no matter what the outcome may be. Make sure that you're mentally prepared for their reaction. Now, whatever their reaction may be, remain calm. Show that you know what you're doing and that you're mature, regardless of their reaction. Another important thing, give the people you're coming out to the impression that your new path has not changed you in a negative way and that you're still the same person inside. In general, coming out of the broom closet may be risky as it's a very sensitive topic to many people. And this is the harsh truth and nature of the situation. You have to take the consequences of the situation that may take place. But if you plan beforehand and think of an approach that seems the most appropriate, there is a high chance that you'll be able to get the message across more efficiently. If you found this video helpful, leave a like and leave a comment. Support this video by liking and sharing it with your friends. You can also subscribe to this channel, and if you want to contribute to the celebration video that will be tomorrow, make sure to comment down below what you think is great about My Pagan Life. I have a feeling this will be an awesome celebration video for My Pagan Life's first birthday. Other than that guys, thank you so much for watching, it was so nice talking to you again, and I hope to see you in my next video. Blessed be from My Pagan Life.